For God's sake, Dad, you've told me this story twice already, I interrupt, as his joyful smile wanes. He hasn't, but those care home papers aren't going to sign themselves. I woke this morning, joyful that I could see again, throwing my glasses off my face. Ever since she ripped my eyes out, I waited for the day they'd grow back. I froze as I took in the sight of my wife's cold and lifeless body. From behind me, a voice said, Now we can be together. It's hard to explain to people why I find cleaning so therapeutic. There's just something so satisfying about getting all of that blood off the floor and walls. Only after I heard the door slam shut and the intruder's footsteps fade away did I come out of the closet. You fell for the oldest trick in the book was all I heard before something hit my head, and everything turned black. I felt my organs rupture as the mechanical buzzing continued. It appears that the surgeon has misplaced his cell phone. The hardest thing that I've ever done was attend my best friend's funeral after he was killed in combat. His PTSD was getting worse, and his screaming was giving away our position. So I did what I had to do. Breaking news. Meta servers are down worldwide. Billions of people whose consciousness was uploaded to the metaverse will never be able to reconnect to their body ever again. I am so happy that we'll be together forever, he said, carrying her in a wedding dress through the doorframe. As a moan of despair comes through her stitched lips, she can do nothing but wish she never accepted that ride back home from her new co-worker. The cop just told me that he was going to have to write me a ticket for driving alone in the carpool lane. He's going to feel so stupid when he checks the trunk. After midnight, on the fourth night of watching over Mr. and Mrs. Johnson's farm while they were away, I swallowed anxiously and began to sweat as I read their latest text. We don't have a scarecrow. I'm so sorry, Dad, but please don't come near me, was the last thing my son said before blowing his head off. As the bite mark on his arm began to heal, I wish I had told him sooner that our family was immune. Deep in the forest, the night came alive with music of happy campers. Then, the night started hunting them, one by one. I felt like I was really getting to know my future wife's kids these past few weeks. Now, if only I could find a good way to introduce myself to her. She smiled as she applied her new dark red lipstick. The metallic odor of her husband's blood caused her to grimace. The white figure flapped in the midst of the rice field. I didn't think much of it until my brother who had stared it down with worry in his eyes, started laughing and flapping too. I want to lose a lot of weight, I asked the genie. As I lay there, now a big pile of fat and skin, I'm thinking that I should have specified which type of weight. They say I'm a maniac, just because when I was nine, I used a pair of pliers to pull up the tooth fairy's tooth, 
to make her tell me where she kept her money. A drink for your daughter. I looked into her sad little eyes and said goodbye as the man handed me his last gallon of drinkable water. Hey, look on the bright side, the doctor said as I openly wept after my transplant surgery. No matter what, your lover's heart will always belong to you. Lila had a broken leg and the pain wouldn't settle. Even approaching a whole month after having her cast on, her doctor thought maybe he didn't set it right and cut off her cast to discover maggots eating away at exposed bone. I looked left and then right, confirming again that my friends were all present. There wasn't supposed to be anyone else out here, but whatever was lurking outside our tent was definitely on two legs. Through the blood and tears, I sob and plea, begging him to tell me what he wants. I feel the pliers grip at my pinky finger, and he whispers in my ear, What I want is for you to stay awake this time. I chipped away at the concrete, hoping my makeshift pick would free me from this prison. The bone was holding up much better than I thought, and I still had nine fingers to go. I screamed as I fell through the abyss. I was taken with shock, as something howled back. I tried to untie her from the chair, blind and shaking. The rope was so strange, for it felt like warm meat, and I couldn't find the end of it. Mama always said I should never talk to strangers. Being caught off guard, I didn't say a word as he covered my mouth, pulling me into the van. Though my father was supposed to be on a flight home, I found him calling me in the middle of the night. When I answered, I barely got out a hello before I heard something screaming in the background, and he says, Honey, know that I love you. The machine that I designed to understand animals' thoughts was a complete success. However... Hearing all of those chimps in cages screaming for help is something that will haunt me for the rest of my days. That's my girl, a loving father said after seeing his six-year-old daughter. I am sorry for your loss, the officer said as he zipped up the body bag. Some of those will stick with me for a while. In the comments below, tell me which one really freaked you out. Also, if you were here for my last two sentence horror stories, do you prefer this style or the last one? Please let me know below. And I'll also be releasing a video tomorrow and Monday, so stay tuned for that. Even something with such few words can send shivers down our spines. Stay safe out there. As I grabbed my boyfriend's hand, I noticed how cold it had become. Sighing, I went to reheat it in the microwave. Losing my brother 10 years ago was hard. Finding him under my bed yesterday was somehow worse.